This is Trig, and he is in the Urban Paw Fuchsia Luna Cuddler Bed. So they make this bed in several different um, colors, but also in a few different fabrics. This is the Sherpa, which is a faux um, sheep fabric. And uh, it is May 2015, and I don't have my air conditioning on or my heat on. And um, we live in Kansas City, so he is comfortable enough in this um, given the temperature outside, so that's a good good thing. This is our final review video, but I'm going to do it in parts because it's sometimes hard when you uh, review a bed to get them in it when you're ready to do the review. So I'll probably do segments of the cats in the bed with um, you know, other discussions of it, but Charlie immediately got into it. If you look at our arrival video, which I'll post in the about section below, um, and found it as a great place to need. I really like this bed. It's got, um, like a tent fabric on the bottom and that's great because it usually doesn't retain cat hair. Uh, one of our readers suggested that I um, take a look at these tags, and when I, when I do an arrival video, I ask, what do you want me to cover in the review video? So this, um, this tag was one of the things somebody wanted me to cover. Better Sleep, Better Life, and as I said in the Milo 2-in-1 by Urban Paw, um, I, you're welcome to pause the video and read that if you'd like. You're also welcome to pause the video and read that if you'd like. I don't want to um, do that. I don't want to read out loud. It's always been a problem I've had. Um, and then you can see it's overstuffed, um, wash, cool, dry, low. So I'm going to run this through the washing machine. But you can tell, I don't even know what that's from. Um, the cats have used it and it is so cushy and so soft. So it might be forcing Trig to be in it right now, so he's not terribly happy with me. Um, and I think this is a the medium size. I'll include a link in the about section below that will um, tell you what the fabric is, what the color of the fabric is, which is fuchsia, and then the size as well. Um, but I mean, doesn't, doesn't he look good next to that pink? Ow, ow, ow. Chicky, you got the blue eyes and the pink and the gray. So Trig didn't start using this immediately. I had to move it to a place where his other bed was and then he started using it. A lot of times when it comes to beds for cats, they, um, they have special spots where they like to sleep. So you have to just move the bed to where they like to sleep and see if they start using it then. So a lot of times it isn't the bed, it's just you know, if you believe in like feng shui and energy and stuff like that, cats just ha have a better understanding of that than we I also think that this is a bed um, that probably would have been best for us to review during the winter because, um, you know, they're just, my cats are young, thank goodness. Um, they're five years old and um, they don't need the warmth and the heat like older cats do. But um, these are, I already can tell that this is a bed that's gonna stick around forever for me um, because I like it so much and it's, it's just comfortable and fun and different. I love that the bottom has this canvasy material so that it doesn't snag on anything. And I'm gonna run it through the washer machine. All right, here's the Luna bed being pulled out of the washer. And it looks like it held its form really well. Really well, that's good. Okay, now pulling the um, Urban Paw Luna bed out of the dryer. This one feels a lot drier than the Urban Paw Milo 2-in-1 pet bed did when um, I pulled it out of the dryer. Looks like I need to work it a little bit as far as the stuffing is concerned, 
but um, it held up pretty well. I'm not convinced that it's dry on the inside, so what I might do in this situation is I have this drying rack and I would just probably put it on top of it to make sure it completely air dried. If I lived in the southwest I wouldn't worry as much, but here in the midwest, especially with all the rain that we've had, um, I think it's really important for it to dry out completely, or maybe even tumble dry again low so that it doesn't mildew, but it really held up nicely. All right, so that's the review video for the Urban Paw Luna Cuddler bed and the Sherpa fabric because it's like lamb's wool, you know, and the color is fuchsia. They only make it in one size the beginning of the video because I, I shot this video in segments. I thought I said it, I thought it was a medium, but this only comes in one size right now. So I'll include a link in the about section below to where you can find it on their website. It's a direct link to the pink one. And then um, all their other beds, I'll include a link or you can always go to you know their homepage and then go from there. Um, and I don't know if I showed like, it's it kind of like forms to the cat's body, but um, I'm trying to show how much room there is for Trig in there. <laughs> He's a lot of fluff and um, it, it's totally fine for both cats. Charlie and Trigg are both 14 pounds, but Trigg is a smaller cat than Charlie is. And um, he's getting out, so I'll put Charlie in and you can see a bird. Uh, and it's nighttime right now and the windows are open and they both just want to hang out in their little special spots. But, <laughs> but we're digging a need in that again. So when she puts me in this bed, I like to need. Charlie, I have only found in the bed a couple times, but Trigg has been in there several, several times. Um, Charlie like, seems to like all the nicks and crannies. What's down there? You think maybe that bed has China on the other side? You're going to dig to China on that side? So I don't know what else to say other than this one's a keeper. This one is going to stay in our house for a long, long time. And this might have to do with me just being attracted to it. Granted, if the cats hadn't used it at all, um, then it wouldn't be staying. But the fact that Trig has used it on a regular basis, pretty much daily, because we've had pretty mild weather here. It's just it's June 1st when I'm recording this last segment. Um, so he's he's been in it pretty regularly that I, I'm going to keep it, because I was initially just attracted to it anyway for the chick do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel grow and helps me bring you more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and sharing our videos. We'll see you next time. Do say bye to people you do. Puppies. 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 What if the people on YouTube want to say bye to the wubbies? Time mentors. Time mentors. But...